Hey, everyone. Are we recording? Okay. Good evening, everyone. I just jumped off of one call onto this call. Wasn't that fun? Actually, she was speaking to somebody from another network marketing company who was making a, quite a bit of money and had to explain to them how powerful our business opportunity is. Um, and to be honest with you, the whole point there is that it was never about the product at the end of the day because we could all be a customer at the end of the day. Um, and just purchase these products, it really was about a business strategy. And when you're talking about a business strategy, you have to look at this from that point of view. You have to look at this from, you know, how is this going to benefit myself? How is this going to benefit uh, the people that I know that I'm going to introduce this to? How is this going to build a lifelong residualized income for myself? And how am I going to do it? And so those were some of the things that we were talking about. And um, I always enjoy speaking to other people from the industry, and I have a feeling that um, this person will be coming on board with us, which is wonderful. But for this evening, what I'd really like to talk to you guys about is the fact that, you know, there's a lot of people coming on board right now. A lot of people. We are in momentum, and there is a different way that you build when you are in momentum than you would build at any other time. Matter of fact, the last 10 years in this company, their first decade, as you might have heard me speak before, was a bottom-up marketing approach. Bottom-up meant that you were, you were building through the product. And this was a necessary approach because what you're doing is you're, you're validating these products. You're creating this opportunity um, through the product. And you have no opportunity without the product. But at some point, when that product becomes so powerful and, and so well-received and so many people are getting results, you have to look at this from the point of that, that it, it's a business opportunity. And so now all of a sudden people are coming in because there's a financial gain for being involved with these products. You don't just have to be a customer. You can actually be a marketer of these products and get a very small piece of a huge pie. And it's real estate when you get involved with this. And so you're, be, you're able to take a part of a company that is going to be next year a billion-dollar-a-year company. Do you know what it takes to become a billion-dollar-a-year company and how, many, how few companies in the world, never mind network marketing companies, have ever attained that? And this is the only industry that I know of, and I think David Wood said this at the convention, it's the only industry that I know of that people get involved and they don't think they need to be trained. They just go out and start doing it any which way they think about it. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. There is a specific strategy. There are things you should do and there's things you should not do. There are things that you, and a lot of this is mindset. And as you can see, the slide here says, begin with the end in mind. I mean, do you think any professional athlete starts a game not thinking that he's not going to win? Of course. And if he doesn't win that game, do you think he starts the next one thinking, I'm not going to win? He might play 100 games, professional games in his career. And each and every one of them, he started with the same belief system that they were going to win that game regardless if they lost the one before, because you fail your way to success, don't you? You can't win every game, and you can't get every single person that you speak to to be interested in this business. There wouldn't be an opportunity if every single person was doing it. It would, be already, it would already be diluted, right? What you're doing is you're looking for people that are interested. If you've ever heard the invite the no, <laughs> because I would happier... For someone to say, no, I'm not interested and this is not for me, then someone to waste my time, two, three weeks, a month, two months of my time, when they never really were interested in the first place. I'm looking for the person who wants this as much as I do. And so what we do is we sift for interest. And so what I first want you guys to do is figure out what is your why? See, before you can find out what anybody else wants, you've got to figure out what it is that you want. And there's a reason why you need to know what your why is. Because when you feel like quitting, you got to think about why you started in the first place, right? I mean, it's so important that you know your why, that it's so relevant to you, that it's more painful for you to quit than it ever was for you to stay involved, right? And when I talk about quitting, it's just because people don't realize that a no is a good thing. I want you to understand that a no is just one step further closer to the yes, to the person that really wants it. So never fear that person saying no. That's why when I prospect somebody, I would call them up and say, listen, I've got something I want you to take a look at. I do not know if this is for you. 
And by saying that, I've just allowed that person to take a deep breath and realize I'm not going to try to convince them. And I can guarantee you I'm not going to try to convince you. I just spent a half hour on a phone call with somebody who was making $40,000 from another company, but they were the only one making that money. The majority of their team members were not making that money. I can tell you from coming back from the celebration that when I walked across that stage, I knew that I had a whole team behind me that were up and coming. That's the only way you can have long-term success in network marketing. There is no I in team. This is about we. We do this together. And so before you can create the team, though, you do have to identify your own personal goals. You also have to allow the person that you bring onto this business to identify their goals so that you do not put your goals on other people. Because we all have different dreams. We all have different visions of how we want our life to, to be. And so I asked people, you know, Peter Kelly did an amazing job talking about the why at Celebration. Please go to YouTube and Google her, Peter Kelly, for Celebration Isogenics 2014 and watch it. And then have everybody on your team watch it. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be about this industry. It could be about anything that you can have your kids watch and be about your why in life. What is it that moves you? What is it that excites you right now in your life that you could do right now that this would allow you to do? Maybe not go to work every day. Maybe you get your husband out of a career that might not be working for him or your family or too stressful. Maybe to be able to show your children an opportunity that there is a better way. Those were some of my whys. And I've got to be honest with you, my 18-year-old daughter at the time when I started this business had never seen me in business because I had been a stay-at-home mom for the decade before that because I was benefiting from building this industry one other time before in my late 20s that allowed me to stay home and be a stay-at-home mom and be able to create that residual income. And I was living that dream. And then all of a sudden I realized she'd never seen me work. <laughs> and so I wanted to be able to show her what it meant to be involved with an amazing company. And yes, I did walk away from this industry because because I felt the industry was broken. Multi-level marketing has so many flaws to it, but the Coovers were able to figure that out. They were able to remove all the challenges that we saw with the multi-level marketing, and the industry has come of age. And so I was able to show my daughter what it meant to be involved with the company and change your life that you don't have to work for somebody for a living, that that's not the way it has to be, that she just finished her internship in New York and came to me and said, I'm not doing that for the next 50 years. That is not my idea of success. This is. And to see that kind of youth, to see that kind of you know, belief in oneself and to have those big dreams because she's 21 years old and nobody told her she couldn't have them, right? That's what I mean about finding out what your why is. Go back to what it was when you were young. And yes, it's changed, right? But go back to what it was and say, if I removed all of the barriers today, all the financial barriers, all the barriers that have kept me from being the person I wanted to be, the career I wanted to have, the home I wanted to live in, the vacations I wanted to take. And it doesn't even have to be materialistic. It could be spiritual. It could be emotional. It could be whatever moves you. But what is it? So that when you figure out what that why is, it would be more painful for you to quit on it because you're not quitting isogenics. You'd be quitting on you. You'd be quitting on that dream of the ability to have control of one's life, which is what financial independence gives you. So the 90-day game plan is so important when we talk about that. We just came off the convention, and that was the, the mantra through NYKO and the 90-day game plan. That is, And I'm going to take you through that today, not specifics, but how that plays into how we do this. What I'm going to talk about today is we have a lot of brand-new people coming into the business, and these people need to understand how to keep this so simple that you can duplicate it so quickly and that's the difference when you're in momentum. You're going to have so many brand new people, 15, 20, 30 brand new people a month coming onto your team, maybe even a week depending on where the growth pattern that you're in in your own group. 
Do you really think you can spend the time trying to figure this out? No, you have to have a well-oiled machine. You have to become a master of simplicity. And that is what we're going to talk about tonight, okay? The basic of how to do this. Because so many people have already come in this week on my own group that have sent out blanket emails to people, which is not what you want to do. This is a belly-to-belly business. You want to sift for interest, and then you want to take it to the phone. You want to get in front of people and let them hear the excitement in your voice and explain to them in the passion of what you're interested in with what's happened to you physically and financially. And there's not an email or a post on this planet that could relate that to people. Okay, so the first thing what this industry is all about is who do you know worldwide? We are in 13 countries. Identify those countries and start to write your list. Now, we're just talking about the fact that you've just signed in and you've done a 90-day plan. We'll come full circle about this in about 20 minutes, okay? But you've come in and you've done the 90-day plan. You've gone on to the isogenicsbusiness.net and you've watched the videos and you've answered the questions and you started to write your list of 100 names and you're highlighting your top 20. Because the bottom line is, is that this business is about you and who you know. And what makes a perfect marriage of your sponsor and your upline support team members and you is you have all of these thousands of people that we don't know. And yes, you do know thousands of people. And we have the story right now, okay? And what's happening is it's a physical and financial story that we're going to share. But you have these connections to all these people. You do not want to go in and make this about a cold market of people who do not have credibility with you in the beginning, That is what you do as you go. And it starts with who do you know. And then you're going to do the circle of influence. And it starts with family and friends. And then it's your business associates. And then it's your acquaintances. These are people that you might know that you bump into every day at the dry cleaners, at the nail salon, or wherever you go during your day that you see people, but you don't necessarily have relationships with them. Or they're friends of friends of friends, that they would know you by face or by name. There's some kind of connection to you. And then there's referrals from those people when they say no to you and then there's the cold market the, if you notice the cold market is the last market I go to you build your business through your connections where you have a circle of influence the key word there is influence that they if you're specifically if you're already successful in life why would you want to go to somebody that doesn't even know your success already and so you start off and a lot of times your family and friends they might be more critical than most because they know you so I Depending if you have a lot of family who are entrepreneurial or not, I don't. So my family and friends aren't necessarily my first approach. It's going to be my business associates and my acquaintances. That's the pool where I get the best reception from. Okay, And then you can go back into your family and friends sometimes because once you've acquired success and they've seen what you've done, it's hard for them to knock it down. And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to do your top 20. This is your dream team, guys. This is the team that you're going to be able to put together. You have to build two teams in this business. Don't you want to have the best players on your team? And you have to bring in top 20 people. So you're going to bring 10 people on each team. Do you not want to find out that they're on somebody else's team because you waited too long to contact them because you were trying to figure this business out? We want to show you how you can comfortably and professionally Call people up and introduce them to this business and you never had to explain it one iota yourself. And you are going to get the best results because we want to set you up for the best success possible. I don't want you to blow through people for them to say, oh yeah, I'm not interested in anything like that because you didn't give them a chance to see the bigger picture before you blanketed an email out to everybody. And they think they know what this is. Our goal is to teach them what this is and what this isn't. And if they're still not interested at that end, then that's fine. But at least give them that opportunity to see the full picture, just like you were given, right? And so you're going to write down your top 20, and then I'm going to ask you to talk to me about your top five. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to spend a good portion of the time that we have a call. Usually after you get involved, you do the 90-day. I set up a, a half hour, an hour conversation call. You might come by the house if you're local. And I'm going to talk to you. Tell me about your dreams and goals. What is it that you want to accomplish personally? And then I'm going to ask you, tell me about your top five. Why? First and foremost, I want to identify if those five people are people that are just going to say yes to you, your mother, your sister, your brother, and then none of them are necessarily entrepreneurial or interested in this business. They just want to support you. That's all well and good, but that's not your top 
five. That's just five warm bodies that are going to say yes to you. You want those top five people to be the most career-oriented, money-motivated people that you know with large circles of influence, people that need to lose weight or want to lose weight or are into being in, in health and shape but still potentially open to a business opportunity because this decade, make no mistake, this is a money deal. Okay, the products are still there, they're still real, and we can't have the opportunity without them. So may, I'm never going to say to you that the money opportunity is stronger than the biz, than the product. The product is the reason there is a money opportunity. But because of the fact that this company is in vertical growth, we're growing at 58% over last year, that is dramatic. We are going to go to a $700 million this year, and we are already on track to hit a billion in 2015. That is outstanding. And if you are able to get into a position where you can get a small piece of that very big pie, we're talking about lifestyle income. We're talking about changing the lives of not just yourself but your children. This income is willable. Okay? This is dramatic, guys. So do you want to be urgent about it? Absolutely. Because the last thing you want to find out is one of your top five is on somebody else's team because you didn't mention it to them. So once we figure out who those top five are, we're going to load the bases. And I use a baseball diamond because people remember visuals and they remember stories better than they remember facts. So always remember the baseball diamond and that you need to keep those bases loaded at all times. So now we just did the top 20, right? And that, that's your on deck, okay? And these are the people every Sunday I look at who are my top 20 and they change constantly because I've either ruled people out, have people on the base, I'm bringing in a new 20 every single Sunday. That is my goal until I've got a team in place that I'm going to start to develop and drive lines, which is a leadership training that will go with another call. But the bottom line is right now when you're initiating your business, and that's who I'm speaking to, those of you who are teaching people to start their business or starting it yourself, You're going to start with first base, and you're going to connect with people, and you're going to use the fact that we have Facebook, we have three-way calling, we have all these means of being able to connect with these people. The first thing you're going to do is sift for interest, and we have three specific ways that I'm going to show you how we do it, and then you're going to go to second base. We're going to validate this opportunity through somebody on your support team who has a success story with the product and opportunity. And they're going to validate everything you just said. So now there's two people saying the same thing. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you skip this step, you have just given yourself more than an 80% chance of failure. This is the step that takes you to the next level. Do not negate it. And then you're going to do third base. Third basis, and we we enroll people. We open up a wholesale account, and we send them to isoproduct.com, and we let them get educated on these products. And then we send them to Home Plate. Those are the people that want to get involved in the business. That's where we put a game plan together, and then we hit the ground running, and we start over and over and over again. First, second, third, fourth. Run the bases. How many people are on first? How many people are on second? Third, how many people are on Home Plate? And this is how you build your business. It's the mastering of the simplicity of loading the bases, of not trying to do something different than the person before you has done. If your upline person who has found success in this business hasn't done something you're thinking of doing, don't do it. It's not necessary. And then all you're doing is breaking down the duplicatable process that is has to be efficient through a momentous growth. Because any time you start branching off, then that person might branch off a little bit and that person might branch off. And next thing you know, you don't have a duplicatable process anymore. You have something that is arduous and difficult to understand. And so this has to be a well-oiled machine for the fact that we have to have this so simple that anyone can do it over and over and over and over again. And you need very little coaching because it's so simple. So let's look at this for a second. First base. First base is basically your website. You're going to send people to your website. And what happens is 
Your website is set up. Now, when you get involved in this business, you get a free website. It's included with the enrollment fee, okay? Now, my website is Are You Toxic? Because I dealt with health crises. And for me, it's all about toxicity and deficiency that touches everybody in the world, okay? And so being able to do that is, to me, that's how I'm going to be able to always reach out to people. That's the core thing of what I talk about. But then I also talk to a lot of professionals, athletes. So I also have Are You Toxic and Team Isogenics and the the Experience Isogenics video. Those are three videos. Each one of them are about three minutes each. When you sign up and you go into your back office, there are about five or six different tutorials that you need to do. Okay, You need to go through those tutorials. Why? Because those tutorials are going to educate you on how to do your website. You don't need me to teach it to you. And what if you had a brand new person trying to teach a brand new person trying to teach a brand new person? Nobody's going to teach anybody correctly, right? Hence why we have a walkthrough tutorial on each and every one that has videos and verbal explanation of how to do every single thing. There's a saying we have, don't be a fool. Use your tools. They're there for a reason, to streamline this. Wash and rinse. Wash and rinse over and over and over again. Okay? That's what we're doing with this. And so any kind of company has to be scalable. If you are not scalable, you cannot find your success, nor can your people. So you're going to have brand new people bringing in people. What are you going to do? You're going to send them to the website, and you're going to let them go through the tutorial. I just brought on a brand new friend of mine, Judy, from high school who reached out to me, by the way, from a post that I put on Facebook accidentally, by the way. I didn't even mean to. I was trying to set up my professional page. It went on to my personal page. She reached out to me. We got involved. She spent the last two days putting together her website without me even telling her to do it. It was brilliant. And it made me realize how important it was for me to really focus with all of you who are coming on board to duplicate what she just did. She didn't need me to walk her through it. Why? because she listened to each and every one of the tutorials and figured it out herself. Now, you might need to help somebody here or there, but in the essence of the whole pos- of the process of this is that anyone can do it, okay? Then what else we use is the your website is the first touch. Now, if you have someone that's really professional, I might skip my website and send them right to our Global Exec Team YouTube page and have them watch the three-year retirement plan, okay? But sometimes you have to have a 15-minute presentation, which is those three videos, and then send them to the more formal presentation, which is the three-year retirement plan. Now, that's just queuing them up before we talk to them truly what this industry specifically is all about, which is the second look which is the convergence of trends. So you're doing the initial SIFT for interest with your website, and then you're sending them to the YouTube page to watch those two videos. The first one being what I just showed you, which was the three-year retirement plan, and the second one being the business overview of the convergence of trends that are propelling this opportunity. If people have watched that in its entirety are not interested in this opportunity, they're not our people they're never going to be interested. If they can watch that and not be excited, they're not our people. So here's the thing. Second base is follow-up. You heard me say this before. This is the cri- this is the critical part of your business. This is the part that so many people skip. Why would you not introduce your people to people who are making money with this business, who are having success, who are experts in the industry and want your success for you? It doesn't make any sense, right? We're your business partners. Utilize us. We're here to help you. And so second base, your follow-up, is the most important step of all. The only thing that we ask of you is that you have sifted at minimum that they've gone to your personal website and watched those three videos, at minimum. And at best, they've seen both videos or at least seen the three-year retirement plan so that we can come from a better knowledge and so the person who's doing the three-way call with you doesn't have to do the explanation. They can just overcome the questions that they might have and share their stories. And so here there's a specific way in which we do a three-way call. It is you your prospect, and your support team member. 
We never do a call without you because we're not here to build it for you. We're here to educate you, and we're here to help you earn as you learn. We're trying to duplicate ourselves in you, not do all the work, right? And so the only way we can duplicate ourselves and help you earn at the same time is have you listen. So this is how you do a three-way call, and I truly ask you guys to honor this, okay? It is so important because a support team member, when we're in the development part of our business, not the personal recruitment part, but we go into a development part of our business, we do many of these calls. I just went from one call to this call, okay? I'm going and doing calls five and ten a day right now by choice, okay? But it's a beautiful thing because I'm helping so many different people build their teams. I want to be able to put 15, 20 minutes into that call and move on to the next call. And this is how that has to go down. You have your person already on the call when you bring me into it. Okay, you don't want to bring me into it and then have me sit there for five, ten minutes as you're trying to reach this person and they don't show up or something. You want to have that person on the call. You want to pre-schedule an appointment for me to be on that call and then you get me on the call. Okay, you invite me in. You've All you've done is introduce me in a, a brief one-minute introduction of who I am, whoever you're bringing on that call is, and then you let us, you hand over the call to us. And from that point on, you do not speak. Now, I know this is difficult. Sometimes you think that we're not getting it and we don't understand your person as well as you understand your person, but we do because the bo- the bottom line is we understand what we're doing for a living and we're just going to share our story. That's all we're going to do is share our story. And while we're sharing our story, you're learning your story and you're getting your story. So people say, well, I have to get a product story. Great, I get it. So while you're getting that product story, share mine. Put your people on the call with me and I'll talk about my product story and I'll talk about my success. That's what I had to do the first time around. I had to go out when I was first building this back in my 20s and this woman was making $90,000 a month income. I couldn't even fathom it. When I met her three months earlier, it was 30. It went to 30, 16, 90. And she was my age now when I was in my 20s. And of course, I didn't have a product story and I didn't have an opportunity story, but she did. And she kept saying to me, just put people in front of me. And that's all I did. I put people in front of her to share her story until I had my own. And eight months later, I had my own story. I earned as I learned. And so what are we going to do? What am I going to talk about on these calls? I'm going to talk about the money, people. That's what you're bringing me on the call for. You don't need me on the call to tell a product story. You can you can bring other level. You don't bring your highest level person on the call to tell a product story. You bring multiple people that you're working with. Unless you're brand new and you're just I'm I'm the person that sponsored you, then that's my job. But at the end of the day, we utilize our support team members for different purposes. And the most important one that you utilize with somebody who's making the money is to talk about the money. That's what they want to hear. Show me the money. Explain to me how this works. And so in my story, I explain how the money works. I explain how I was introduced to this network marketing industry in my late 20s and how I created a million dollars before I was 30 and how myself and many others were successful, but there were way too many people that weren't successful. I explained to them how I walked away from this industry because it had to, it had a major flaw in it and that I only came back in because this company figured it out. And I explained to them the difference between multi-level marketing and network marketing and why I have chosen to pursue this opportunity because I would have just been a customer because the products are amazing, but I certainly didn't have to build a business because I love the product. I'm building a business because I know for a fact this time around anyone that applies themselves six, eight, ten hours a week, week in and week out for six months to a year will create a residual income that will pay them for life. I know that. My belief is so powerful, nobody can shake it. Why? Because my knowledge is there. Because my experience is there. Because my success is there. And that's why you want people like myself on that call with you. Because I'm going to not just try to convince them, I'm going to share my story. And within my story is the conviction. My belief is the most powerful tool of influence I have. And that's why when I was speaking on the phone with this other couple, There wasn't even a comparison. They didn't even know what hit them because I understood this industry and I know that they're doing well. 
but there are way too many people on their team that are not doing well that are going to get picked off by Isogenics or another company because somebody else is going to be, be the, it's called the low-hanging fruit of your team, the people that aren't success, successful. Those are the people I'm most important. As long as they're working, I will match their efforts. I spend my time developing people. And that's what we're doing in the three-way call is we're developing your teams for you. We're driving the line and supporting you. That's how we do it. I talk about customer retention. 60% of our products are the consumers. 60% of them stay with these products because they get a result. That's enormous. It jumps to 95% when we show people how to earn one cycle a week, which is about $200 a month, which basically covers their personal consumption. 95 five percent retrition attention that means that you're not going to have attrition we're building a network of consumers who have a vested interest in staying with these products for life and that's why you just had the gentleman with Forbes magazine turn around after years of poo-pooing network marketing which he was really poo-pooing multi-level marketing and he didn't understand that it had come of age that they're talking about this being the solution to retirement. Well, I have to tell him he will figure this out soon enough. It's not just for retirement. I've got a 21-year-old graduating at the top of her class at the number one entrepreneur school in this country, and she is choosing this as her career path. Why? Because she can, because she's going to succeed at this, and nobody's going to tell her what she's worth and when she can work and when she can't. She's going to be able to create the success. She sat there in her internship and she said, Mom, I looked at the girl that was work, woman that was working there five years and the one that was working there ten years and they weren't happy <laughs> and they weren't making great money. They were working a lot of hours, but they weren't making great money. And it's this perception that we're supposed to be in this pigeonhole into this career and you're supposed to go on the career path and you're supposed to be these titles that mean something. Well, you know what? You know what means something? is financial independence. Total control of one's time as well as one's income. No one has to tell us what we're worth. We get to decide what we're worth. That's what I talk about on a three-way call. And then I explain to them the you plus two, them plus two. Do you know that we bring people in with product packages? The reason why we do that is because we want to set you up for success. I'm explaining this for you. Your people should be explaining this for you. You're brand new. You can't say these words. You don't have this verbiage. We do. And so you put people in front of us and we explain this for you. You plus two, them plus two. Do you know when you bring in two people that if you come in with the president's pack, which is we believe is the best package to bring you in both physically and financially, you'll get the best results physically from it and you'll get the best results financially from it. When you bring in two people, you'll get more than 50% of your product back cost of your product back, and then when you help your people bring in two people, they'll get 50% of the product back, and you'll earn another $100 per person just by helping them do that, and now you're starting that penny doubling, the exponential growth, and if you do that within 30 days, you plus two, them plus two, it's called becoming a manager, and you're starting the duplication process of driving an organization and allowing that exponential growth to start to take place, And if you do that within 30 days of starting your business, they'll pay you an additional $250. It's called Crystal Executive. Do you know that that's $820? Not only did that just pay for your kit that you just came in with, your first initial uh, product kit, introduction to these products, but it's also paying for your next month's product. How do you, what business could you start for under $1,000 that have the upside potential of paying you? Fifty to $100,000 your very first year with a $2,000 operational expense for the entire year. And, oh, by the way, you get to eat it. There isn't one. It's an outstanding opportunity with the return on your investment. With month one, you can be operating from utilizing your profit as your, your operational expense. I just don't know of another business possible. I started my own cosmetic company in my 20s. It cost me over $5,000 just to start the inventory alone, never mind operational of that. We're talking about $559. When you talk product, there's always going to be a price point comparison because that's what people's mindset is. Oh, this is really expensive. My brother-in-law, he just said to me, it's expensive. I'm like, compared to what? Have you ever tracked how much money you spend a month on food? and on coffee, and on drinking, 
Come on. You, you're not even comparing it properly. This is a business opportunity. When you talk about it being $1,000 or less to start a business, guess what happens? It becomes irrelevant because people are like, are you kidding me? Again, going back to my girlfriend, Judy, which I know she's on the call tonight. She goes, are you kidding me? You get all that, including a website, for $559? That's the person you want to recruit. That's your person. And the beauty of this is you only need one of those people. Why? Because you can help them become a three, four star in this company and help them find their success. And by helping them find their success, you find yours. That's the beauty of a team building compensation plan. I also show them that as you're doing the U plus two, them plus two, each and every one of those product packages have volume attached to it. And it's an accumulated bank account. You have these piggy banks on both sides. And you see the $300 here, but it's 320 now. They've upped the volume of the BV that goes into the compensation plan. Built into the wholesale cost of these products is this volume that they put into the compensation plan. It's called the back end of the compensation plan. What I just showed you, the U plus 2, them plus 2, earning product introductory bonuses and rank advancement bonuses, that's the front end. That's temporary income. You do something, you get paid. You don't do something, you do not get paid. Linear income. The back end is residual income, but it takes time for that to happen. You have to see the exponential growth take place. The penny, 2 into 4, 4 into 8, 16, 32, 64. By the 10th day of the month, it's $10. Not bad. The next 10 days, it goes to $10,000. And the last 10 days of the month, it is over $10 million. Now, you break that down into three years. Your first 10 days represents your first year, the second 10, the second year, the third 10, the third year. As you can see, the first year, it takes a significant amount of effort because you're starting from nothing and you're not necessarily seeing this major growth. But the second year, that same effort, you get this exponential growth. Why? Because you have that many more people working with you on your team for their own why, for their own reasons. But you're doing something the same over and over and over again, right? You're scalable. It's rent, wash and rinse, wash and rinse. That's what they talk about in marketing, right? To be scalable. Something so simple over and over and over again. Master of simplicity. Do not go out and try to create something totally different than what this is. We are not product salespeople. We are product endorsers who are building a network of consumers who have a vested interest in staying with these products for life. And that vested interest is making money. And our job is to show them how to keep it so simple and so easy that they can find their success. That's what I talk about in a 15, 20-minute three-way call. And the reality is the more they've seen prior to that three-way call, the more success we can have to take them to the next level. I'm going to talk to them about coming in with the product package. I tell them that we bring everybody in with this product package. I bring everybody in with the President's Pack. Why? Because it sets you up for success. Your next step is, those are my favorite words. It's the only thing I ever close with because it is the natural progression of what this conversation would lead us to. Your next step is to try the product, whether or not you're interested in weight loss, skin care, energy and performance, healthy aging, business opportunity. It doesn't matter. Try the product. Period. Let's open up a wholesale account for you. Now what's going to happen? I've got the person interested in at least opening up a wholesale account. We're not sure yet they're going to do the business or not. We'll know soon enough, right? I'm going to now turn the call back over to you. You haven't spoken once. Why? Because I've got 15 to 20 minutes to download as much information as possible to have a relationship with this person. I'm talking back and forth to them. When I stop speaking, you're not supposed to speak. The guest is supposed to speak so that I can have a conversation with that person. Otherwise, it's two people talking at them, and that's a never a good thing. They start to shut down, stop listening, right? And so I'm going to turn the call back over to you for you to take the information now and to open up a wholesale account for them. And before I leave, I'm going to say, listen, I'm going to send you to isoproduct.com. I want you to go on isoproduct and, and pull up your system that you ordered. And there's videos and audios and um, PDFs that you can print out, everything you need to know right there. Why? Because if I made the brand new person who doesn't know much about it more than what they're doing themselves try to teach that person, we're going to have a breakdown in the program, right? So I'm going to let the $20 million uh, website that they put together for us do it for us. 
And they even have this incredible program that you can sign up for. I think it's like 20 bucks a month. It might be even be cheaper. I think it may be 10. And it will send a, a email every day to a brand new person that might be starting the the um, 30 day program and giving them healthy reminders of what they can be doing and how their cleanse day should go and how their shake day should go. And it's supporting you completely. And it even will send you an email to remind you when you should tell them about that. Simplicity, my friends. Go into your back office and get to know the business in which you just got involved in because they have figured it out for us. And then What we're going to tell these people is really what we want for you guys is to get to a three-star in this business. Do you want to find success in this business? Three-star, that's the name that you want to remember. Because a three-star means that you are creating over $100,000 a year for you. Residualized income. And that replaces 99% of the majority of the people in this country's income. So anything leading up to that is brilliant, right? but I'm going to get you to three-star because I know if I get you to three-star, you'll get yourself anywhere else you're going to go. And you're going to help your people get to three-star and you're going to help their people get to three-star. And if you want to have a lifelong residual income, you need a three-star over a three-star over a three-star minimum. And I mean solid three-star. I mean this is residualized income. They're doing the volume and what a three-star is making is $100,000 a year and that person's going nowhere because they have a vested interest in staying involved with these products for life. The angle in which you begin this business dramatically affects the outcome of your success, how fast it's going to happen. And we are in momentum. Do you want to get the biggest piece of the pie that you can possibly get? Then duplicate a kit that has the most success attached to it. I don't even consider the nine-day cleanse. The nine-day cleanse is not even on my radar. It doesn't have any success for the person who's using it other than nine days, and then what are you going to do, right? And then... The 30-day system, I utilize that from my consumers who aren't willing to try the, the make the initial investment on the 559, but I do try to educate them that they should try the 559 because the results are that much more staggering because you're going to get the vitamins, you're going to get the bars, you're going to get the chocolates, you're going to get the blender, you're going to get the results that you want. How many people, I'm like, what's the difference? Going out to dinner one night that that month, don't do it, and invest it in your health? One month to see if it works, money back guarantee. Go for it. Give yourself the best shot. If you're going to do it, do it right as best as you can. Will you get a result with a 30 day? Absolutely. Will you get a better one with the President's Pack? Absolutely. Both physically and financially. You'd have to sign in twice as many people to 30 day to have the same success as with the President's Pack. The Business Builder Pack is something that you will see within the next year, maybe even sooner, that many of the business builders will go to. Right now, they need to work on it. It's too many products. We've got to work on it being more streamlined, at least for what I think would work best. And I'm working with the company on that right now. But you could basically find, you'd have to sign twice as many people in with the President's Pack with the one person with, to have the same success with the Business Builder Pack. But that's where we're ultimately going. Guys, I've seen it happen, and it will put your group on fire. Remember, we're not selling a product. We're selling a business opportunity to people. That's what we're marketing, the opportunity to have a lifestyle income. Isogenics business. After they're trying the product and the product has arrived, and what I tell people to do is write in when you order them. Don't put their I, don't put their um, email in the same where it says, do you want to receive an email when your products have been sent? Put your email in there for the first time only, so that you know when their products have arrived and is sitting at their front door. It tells you when it's been shipped and it tells you when it's been ar- and when it's arrived. And that way you can call them and say, hey, I know you just got your products. Let's get you started. Have you gone to isoproduct.com? No, I haven't done it yet. Get to audit- Go do that right now. Go do that this evening. And then call them back after they've watched it and see if you can't get them on point and give them some helpful hints and get them on the program where they're going to receive an email every day, okay? Now, Isogenics business is for those people who want to take it to the next step and want to do the business. And the very first thing you're going to do is have them watch the U plus 2 video. Then you're going to have them do the 90-day game plan and then the training and then the tools. Why? Because it's duplicatable. And brand new people can't teach brand new people. And that's how fast this is going to go. You're going to have 10 and 20 and 30 brand new people coming in at a time and they need a system in place to succeed And this is the system in which we use. So what are we going to do? 
We're going to go for the Grand Slam, guys. We're going to load these bases, and we are going to continually run the bases. So when I can call you and say, how many people do you have on first? How many people are on second, third? How many people at home? You should have two and three and four people at a time on each one of these bases, and you're constantly just moving them to the next base and the next base and then coming in and bringing in new people. That is how we build our business. It's plain, it's simple, and it is duplicatable. Staying with the analogy of the baseball, playing in the big leagues, look at it this way. U plus two, becoming a consultant, is the minor leagues. That's how you get started. And then if you want to get up into the major leagues, you then are them plus two. You're building a team. You have to become a manager and then a director in order to be on the major leagues. And then in order to get in the all-star game, you've got to be an executive. If you want to play with the big boys, you've got to be an executive, right? You get an executive and you get to participate in uh, significant more money. That's our pool that you don't even need to know about it until you get there. But it, let me tell you, I broke as an executive six weeks. Even though they gave me six months, I did it in six weeks, Right? I broke as a two-star, which means I made $1,000 that week as an executive, but I made $5,000 in the executive pool. Is it important to become an executive? You guys decide. Winning the game? Look at it this way. In order to win the World Series, you have to become an eight-star golden circle. What that means is you will be making over $700,000 a year in an annual residual income. That is playing with the big boys. And we have people doing it every single month that are hitting 8-star, 9-star, 10-star. I will hit that before this year is out. I will hit it before I've hit my three-year retirement plan. People on my team are doing it right behind me. The reason why I came back into this industry and came back into this company specifically is because I know anyone can do that. I know my 21-year-old daughter can do that inside of three years. And if she can do it, couldn't any one of us? Of course we could. So then you have to decide, do you want to be a fan or do you want to be a player? We have plenty of fans in this business, and there's nothing wrong with our fans. I'm going to tell you right now, I love our fans. These are people that show up. They even come to the conventions, but they're never really truly engaging to where they're stepping up to the plate. And when you listen to Peter Kelly tell her story, she spent two years being a fan and the last two years being a player. And now she's a nine-star, which means she's earning over a million dollars a year income, 26 years old. If she can do it, couldn't we do it? Absolutely. So what do you have to do? You have to decide to pick up the bat, step up to the plate, and take your best swing over and over and over again. And you have to fail your way to success. Because You know, it kills me when people say to you, oh, you've tried something like that before and failed. Oh, should I never try anything else again? Should I just give up on life because I failed before? (laughs) Of course not, right? A child is just learning how to walk and they fall a couple of times. You're going to tell them to sit down and shut up and don't bother? Of course not, right? I mean, it's absurd to even think that. Life is about failing your way to success. That's how we succeed. That's how we get better. And the bottom line is, What would you do if you knew you could not fail? See, I know my belief is so strong, not just in myself, but that in anybody on my team that chooses to participate, to put a concerted effort, not a a spare time effort, but a part-time concerted effort of 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 hours a week, week in, week out, month in, month out, for 6 months to a year, will find their success regardless as long as they don't quit on themselves. What would you do if you could not fail? For me, I'd be doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Your journey starts here. This is what we do. If you try to do something different, you're veering away from a proven model that has created millionaires, one after the other after the other, 100 plus plus millionaires. And we're just getting started. So with that, guys, I leave you with that this evening. Thank you so much for taking the time with us tonight. I hope I'm going to be posting this up on our YouTube page. I want you guys to find the success that you want. But before that, you have to figure out what your why is so that you never give up on yourself because your why is so much more important than what you have to do to get there. 
And you have to do no different than what we just showed you. And that is what each and every one of us are doing right now to find our success. And we're willing to walk that path right along with you. So with that, I thank you so much for the evening. Good night.